Hi guys, and welcome to a, another review. I'm on a roll. I finished a couple of books. So this particular review is going to be for A Clockwork Orange by Anthony uh, Burgess. So this one I um, put on my July TBR. There was an image. It was for like a random picture and it had boxing gloves. There's, there is fighting in this, <laughs> so it definitely fits the prompt. Um, and so this one... You're, it's all. It, this is definitely told in first person, and there was an introduction in this. I actually listened to the audiobook on this on Scribd, and they read the introduction on Scribd, um, which is says introduction: A Clockwork Orange resucked, and it talks about how in England um, the a Clockwork Orange was published with 21 chapters, but in America, the American publishers thought the 21st chapter was useless, it was not needed, so they omitted it, so in America it was published with 20 chapters. They included in this particular edition the 21st chapter, the way the author originally wrote it, the way it was published in the UK. Um, now it doesn't actually say chapter 21, this is broken up into three parts, and each part is about five to seven chapters. But ultimately it ended up being 21 chapters. Um, I think the 21st chapter, in my opinion, is good. And is definitely good to have. It definitely may not have needed to be labeled as a chapter. It could be just the epilogue because it is like a year later of certain events that have happened. I do believe this takes place in a certain area of England where they speak um, Cockney, I believe that was mentioned in the um, introduction. I don't remember exactly, but that sounds extremely familiar to me. And I tell you, it there was a lot of words in here that could be considered slang, but definitely, <laughs> I does make me go. It probably is indicative of this person's culture where they have grown up. I'm giving, going to give this a four stars. I thoroughly enjoyed this one, um, and I look forward to reading more of Anthony's work. Um, so this one, you're following the narrator. His name is Alex, um, and he's like part of a little gang, and he's at the age of 14, and they go and steal money, they steal items, they beat people up, um, and there are hints at, like, raping women, but they don't actually use the term. They call it the in-out, in-out, <laughs> so you can use your own imagination to that. But um, at one point, you know, just like with any gangs, people shift alliances and who was the leader is now like the enemy of the group. And that's pretty much what happens in this. And so you're following Alex, who was the leader of the group, and basically his gang turns on him and he ends up going to jail and gets in trouble in jail. But he also alludes to the fact that, I mean, he's helping, like, this priest or someone um, in the prison system. So that, like, you have life before jail is part one, life in jail is part two, and then this recovery program is still part two. And then life after the recovery program and after jail is part three of this book. Um, so there's not much to say because I didn't, there are quite a bit of things in here I did not understand because it was like reading a completely different language. Um... So it was quite difficult, but I got the gist of it. So Alex, again, like I said, is in this gang. He's like 14, um, gets caught, and then he's in jail. The program for recovery is to like help criminals recover so they don't want to fight, they don't want to murder. They, If that even the thought of kicking someone in the shin crosses their mind, they will literally, literally get physically sick and want to throw up. The sight of blood literally repulses them and makes them sick. Um, what happens, this was, I will say this because it is, it can be disturbing for some people. This recovery program, basically what happens is they come in, this nurse comes in and, or these medical people come in, they give the subject, in this case, Alex, a shot after he eats a meal and then he's taken to a room and he's strapped into a chair like his He's shackled in by his feet, his arms, his head is even shackled, and his eyes are propped open. So he has to, he can't blink, he can't close his eyes or anything. And he's forced to watch several films of 
in horrible crimes of like Nazis killing people, of people beating someone up. I mean, just there's a whole bunch of it. And so that can definitely be hard for people to read, um, especially if you understand the language in this, which again, I think is Cockney. But um, so that was a little hard to read. Uh, you get really kind of sympathetic towards Alex in this. So he goes through that and then finally it's like, okay, anytime he has this like trial where it's kind of like this performance. You have these people that are like hired to go and kind of try to, like this lady comes on, is like, is he going to try and rape me? Is he going to try and do whatever? And before the woman, there's this guy that comes on that basically kind of punches him. It's like, punch me back. But he little, Alex literally can't. Just the thought of defending himself makes him physically sick. So then he's released, they call him rehabilitated, um, and then he gets involved in this group after he's beaten up by police. Um, he meets this group who want to stick it to the government, and they think what they did to Alex is very wrong, um, and they want to use Alex as an example. And he's just kind of thrown from like the frying pan into the crock pot or something like that. Um, but ultimately, you know, he does have a hard time. Um, I mean, it's even to the point, like the films, in this book, Alex loves to listen to classical music. He loves Mozart, he loves Beethoven. There's a lot of references to one of Beethoven's symphonies. Um, but with in the rehabilitation part, when he goes from uh, prison to the rehabilitation unit, where they make him watch these films, these films are set with like Beethoven and Mozart in the background. And so even when Alex tries to listen to the music that he loved before, it makes him sick. So, so it's what he becomes what is known as a clockwork orange, which is basically you have no choice. Your agency is basically stripped away in certain situations. Your, your right to defend yourself or anything because it's gonna make you sick you have no choice but to act a certain way and that's what's referred to as like clockwork orange it gives a better definition in the book but i really enjoyed it i look forward to rereading and seeing what else i can pick up on that i missed um and i look forward to reading more of anthony burgess's work but four stars i do enjoy just be aware um of the forced nature of watching this stuff and they kind of give him the choice hey is this what you really want um, but he doesn't really know what he's getting into and keep in mind too at the start of this book He's 14 and at the end he's like 18. So this takes the course over a couple of um, Years all in first person. So you're getting this all firsthand um, And there are points where some of the stuff he was saying I, It was I was kind of <laughs> Confused, but I think that's just gonna be a product of when it was written and the type of language it's written in so and I think this is definitely something that when you reread it more, the more you'll gain from the book. So anyway, so that's all I can really say about this. I just finished this this morning um, and I'm still kind of uh, several hours later thinking about this and just I can see why this is such a revered book. Um, because there, it, there is the concern of the government overstepping its bounds and making it so... If you do anything contrary to what the government wants, you'll be physically sick. Um, and how that is definitely overstepping their bounds. And so there is that fight there as well. So that's really all I can say for this without spoiling anything. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I do recommend, especially if you like classics and can handle um, someone talking about their experience with watching very graphic films. It doesn't go into much detail um, about that, or at least from what I could understand, because again, the language barrier, but I did enjoy it. And if you can handle that, I think you might like it as well. Uh, but I do definitely recommend. I think this is definitely something that can be a very pivotal read and a poignant read in someone's life. So that's really all I have to say. So that's it for this review. Let me know if you've read this. If you've read anything else by Anthony Burgess, definitely let me know what your favorite book by this author is. But that'll be it. So until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book. And I'll talk to you later.